And hello and welcome back. So this is going to be a weird video. We are rescuing some baby bristlenose out of one of the logs. I'm going to show you how to easily get the bristlenose out of the log if you're breeding catfish like that. Also my new tanks that I'm setting up for the Corydoras. I've got a whole lot of plumbing and stuff. Everything is a giant mess at the moment because this is home and I work 24 seven. But we got all our pipes, all our fittings and stuff. The whole idea is stopping babies going through the overflows. So. That is what I've come up with so far. There will be an easier way of doing that, but if you've seen my other videos, the water's gonna pump up the top, into these, into the six foot sump, then back again. So the main filtration in these is not gonna be the sump, it's gonna be the sponge filters, which are connected to a battery air pump. So if I lose power, I don't lose fish. Always great. Um, we are in Southeast Queensland, so it's warm enough most of the year without heaters, but we do have heaters going in there. Um, I just turned that off, but that is running at 19 degrees of outer heater, and it should only get warmer because we're just coming into summer. Uh, otherwise, apart from the bristle nose, which I'm gonna show you in a second, we're going to feed a whole lot of monster fish, so I keep lots of big stingrays. So not only the nine foot tanks, which are there and behind where you can't see at the moment, um, the big groper, which is the Queensland groper, some baby stingrays, tons of bristle nose, heaps of baby fish at the moment. So I really need more room. I have actually, if I reverse, beep, 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 I have more stands which I need to get tanks for. So these are gonna hold four foot tanks, mostly for grow out. So I think I'm gonna move all this rubbish in the middle, have these along here, so then I've got heaps more room. So this is the fish room that I've been building in the last couple of months. Anyway, let's jump to those fish and then jump to fish feeding, hurrah. How nice is that shrimp, wow. I probably should put him somewhere or her. That is a really, really nice shrimp. <laughs> we have a bristle nose with eggs. We'll actually fry now. Um, the so eggs hatched about a week ago, so they're almost ready to come out of the bristle nose cave. Oh, and it looks like we've got another two in there doing the thing. So I need to gently get that log out, see how many babies we've got, and then figure out where the babies are going. So this is the same tank that the rice fish just laid eggs in, and they're still laying eggs. Yeah, they should be in a pond, but I haven't had five minutes to pop them in a pond. Woof. And that was traumatizing, but we have all his little babies. There is dad there. So that's just a super red bristle nose, so the line bread version of the calico. There is a few babies, but it, I think it's one of the smaller girls that has actually given birth. Well, laid eggs. Given laid eggs. There they are. He is not impressed. He just roll eyed at me. So the babies will be fine, like they would have left the log probably in the next couple of days. They've almost absorbed their egg yolk, which is their little tiny bellies. Look at their little beady black eyes. So very, very cool. Yeah, so if they were albinos, they wouldn't have the black eyes, obviously. So they are super reds. And it is yesterday, we are feeding some fish. We have two kilos of food. We have lots of fish to feed. <laughs> this happens daily. I don't really film it, but it does happen. Oh, so we're placing that in the ground. Just the same tank that we put the um, Dimax fish food in. It is clear again with a handful of dead seafood animals. 
Can you tell I'm a vegetarian? There we go. So they kind of inhale a lot of food. There goes a stingray. So that's one of the rogue males. I don't have him in the tanks with all the big females and stuff because he is a nasty, nasty stingray. So he's a Motoro, which is just a common stingray over here. I don't want him to screw up the other ones. There we go.
And hopefully you liked that video. If you did, click the thumbs up so I know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. If you want to watch other stuff, here's some unboxing stuff and feel free to subscribe. See ya.